Hello and welcome to the 38th video in this series of videos programming a chess engine in C. So in this video we're going to make a start with the make and unmake functions in the chess engine but before we go there during the preparation of those functions I found one last little bug in the generate moves function. So in move gen.c there's two things to do. One is delete this print line here that prints the side out because we don't need that anymore. We certainly don't when we're doing a perf test with 100 million positions. And the other thing we need to do, and this is a really good example of how easy these bugs occur, is if you scroll down to the black pawns section, you'll notice here that I'm looking at a capture in the minus 11 direction, but here I've only got 1 instead of an 11. And as I said, in large trees this ends up as quite a difficult bug to find, but it was found and now doesn't exist anymore. So that's all bugs in the move generator actually fixed, so there weren't any more than that, so things went actually quite nicely and smoothly. So the next thing to do for this video now is to add a new file to the folder, and I'm going to call this file make move.c, and I'll just save that actually as well. And you also, of course, want to add this to the make file as well. Although we won't be making anything in this video itself. And like I said in the introduction video, this is very much going to be a copy, paste and explain video. But you can download the code for this anyway, so it should be alright. So, I've explained in the last video about the process that you think through for actually making a move. And in this video we'll start with some of the preparation. And the first thing we need to put in is some macros, which I've got here. And they're basically hashing macros. So for hashing the piece, hashing the castle permission, the side, and the ampersand square. And the reason I've got these in macros is simply to shorten the amount of code that needs to be typed because this ha happens repetitively throughout the make and unmake function. And it's better to type this, for example, on its own rather than this each time you're hashing the side out and etc, etc, etc. Of course, the assumption is made using these macros that the board position pointer is called pos, P-O-S. If it isn't, then, of course, these macros won't work. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. And the next thing we're going to do, which is maybe a little bit more interesting, is we're going to add in the castle permission array. And this array is basically a mirror of an, the, our internal board with 120 squares and all of them are set to 15 apart from a a1 e1 h1 and likewise for the queen uh, for the black side sorry a8 e8 and h8 and the reason for that is is every time we move a piece what we'll basically be doing is taking the castle permission I'll just call it car perm, and we'll be doing a bitwise and operation with this array and the square from. And we'll also be doing that with the square too. And the reason is, is you know that the castle permission occupies four bits, one, two, three, four, and when all the permissions are there, it's one, two, three, four, which equals in decimal fifteen. So on most of the squares, the result we'll get when we and the castle permission in the position with the index from this array is a 15, except on these squares here. So, for example, if we and this, if let's say that the black queen, uh, king, sorry, actually moves, so the from square is e8 here, which is a 3 here, then we would actually do the castle permission and equals 3. And if the castle permission before then obviously was 1, 1, 1, 1, the castle permission will now be 1, 1, 0, 0. So we'll have lost, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 1. So we'll have lost our permissions as black to castle on both the queen and the king side. And that's how we then update our castling permission. And I've got the 13 here, the 12 here, the 14 here, 11 here and the 7 here appropriately and each one takes out when the rook or the king moves the appropriate bit for the castle permission. 
So that's how the castle permission works, and that's why we've got this fixed constant array in here in this manner. I could, of course, have made this a variable which is then filled on startup, but it's better and easier just to have it like this because it's nearly all the same number anyway. Okay, so that's two parts of preparation done in the make move function. In the next video, and I want to stop already because I'm going to try and break this up into bite sized chunks, we're going to start looking at the functions that we need to implement for adding a piece on the board, clearing a piece off the board, and moving a piece on the board. And they're quite involved with all the piece lists and everything. So thanks very much for paying attention, following along, and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.